Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to automate trades using any TradingView indicator or PineScript in demo mode. This means we can test if the strategies work using virtual funds. And once we're confident in their performance, we can switch to live mode to trade with real money. And it's all done without any coding. For example, here I am on the BTC USD chart with a four hour time frame and have enabled the UT bot alerts indicator. You can easily enable this by searching for it in the indicator section. Now I want to see how this strategy would perform using virtual money. Of course, this is just an example. You can test any other indicator as well. For instance, with the RSI indicator, we could check how it works if we buy when RSI crosses below 30 and sell when RSI crosses above 70. We'll cover that in another video. In this video, we're focusing on UT bot alerts to see how it works. The whole process is the same for any indicator or strategy. So once you understand this, you can apply it to your own setups. Before diving in, let me show how it works. This setup lets us turn TradingView alerts into automated trades. The idea is simple. TradingView generates buy and sell signals based on indicators or PineScript strategies. These signals are sent to our bot, which executes trades automatically. The bot runs 24 seven. So once it's set up, it follows the strategy without any manual work. When the bot runs in demo mode, it provides detailed reporting to help you analyze its performance before switching to live trading. You get a closed positions report, which summarizes all executed trades, showing won and lost positions, win rate, and profit and loss. This gives a clear overview of how well the strategy is performing. There's also a daily profit and loss report, which tracks profits and losses on a day-to-day -day basis. Green bars represent profitable days, while red bars show losing days. This helps assess the strategy's consistency and whether adjustments are needed. With this complete reporting, you can test and refine your strategy using virtual money before taking it live. Okay, let's get started. First, we need to create our bot so it can listen for buy and sell signals from TradingView and execute trades using virtual money. Once the bot is ready, I'll show you how to configure TradingView to send buy and sell signals to our bot for any indicator or strategy. For creating the bot, we're going to use CryptoTailor, a platform that allows you to automate trades using virtual money and switch the bot to live mode when you're ready. We can create a TradingView signal bot in just three simple steps. First, we need to choose the exchange and our trading pair. For this example, we'll go with Binance and Bitcoin. Pay attention to the exchange you select because the trades are simulated using price data from that exchange. If you choose Binance, the bot will use Binance price data to simulate trades. Now let's move on to the next step. In this step, we can define how much to invest per position. For example, we can set each trade to open with a fixed amount like 100 USDT. Alternatively, we can make it dynamic based on our exchange wallet balance. If we have 500 USDT in our spot wallet and set the amount to 10%, each trade will automatically use 50 USDT. As our balance grows, the position size increases proportionally, allowing us to compound profits over time without manual adjustments. This is also where we configure risk management settings. While buy and sell signals come from TradingView, we can set take profit and stop loss levels to ensure the bot follows them. This helps protect our capital and gives us more control over our automated trades. For this example, we'll set both the take profit and stop loss levels to 5%. In the final step, we need to give our bot a name. It's best to choose something that helps us track its performance later. For this setup, I'll name it UT Bot Alerts since we'll be using that indicator. Next, we decide whether to run the bot in live mode, where it trades using real money from our exchange account, or in demo mode, where it simulates trades using virtual funds. Since we're testing this indicator, I'll select demo mode, but later in this video, I'll show how to connect the bot to an exchange for real trading. We also set the bot status upon creation. By choosing active, the bot will start running in the background immediately after it's created. We can also enable Telegram notifications, allowing the bot to send real-time updates to our Telegram. This includes alerts when a signal is received from TradingView, when a new position is opened or closed, and updates on profits or losses. 
To enable Telegram notifications, you first need to connect your Telegram account to the platform. Finally, by clicking on Save, our bot is created and it's now running in the background, waiting for buy and sell signals from TradingView to execute trades. Now, it's time to configure TradingView to send signals to this bot. As you can see, we've received a buy signal, a sell signal, and a webhook URL from the bot. We'll use this information to connect TradingView signals to our bot and automate the trading process. To configure TradingView, we need to create alerts that will send signals to our bot. From the top bar, click on Alert, and in the Alert Settings window, set the condition to UT Bot Alerts so that this indicator generates signals. For Buy Signals, select UT Long as the condition. For the Trigger condition, choose Once Per Bar Close. This ensures that the signal is only generated when the candle fully closes, helping to reduce false signals. Next, set the expiration to define how long you want this alert to remain active. In the Message section, we need to use the buy signal we received from the bot. I'll copy and paste the message here so TradingView sends the exact signal format the bot expects. Finally, we need to set the webhook URL. This allows TradingView to send the buy signal directly to our bot whenever the indicator triggers a buy alert. If this option is not clickable for you, it's because TradingView requires a paid subscription to enable webhook alerts. You'll need to upgrade your plan to use this feature. I'll copy and paste the webhook URL here so the bot knows when to open a new position. By clicking Create, we have successfully set up an alert that will send a signal from TradingView to our bot whenever a buy condition is met. Keep in mind that we are setting this alert on the BTC USDT chart with a four hour time frame, meaning the signals will be generated based on these settings. If you want to trigger alerts for a different pair or time frame, simply switch to the desired chart and adjust the settings accordingly. And finally, we need to set up the sell signals as well. The process is exactly the same as for the buy signal, but this time we'll use the sell signal we received from the bot. We select UT bot alerts as the condition, but instead of UT long, we choose UT short for sell signals. Then, we copy and paste the sell message from the bot into the message section and set the same webhook URL. Once we click Create, our bot will now receive both buy and sell signals from TradingView, allowing it to fully automate our trades. Now that we've configured TradingView, our bot is fully set up and ready to take action based on TradingView signals. Let's go back to CryptoTailor and check our running signal bot. As you can see, the bot is active in demo mode, waiting for a buy signal. It's also managing risk with a 5% take profit and stop loss, ensuring trades follow the predefined strategy. As soon as the bot receives a buy signal, it will automatically open a position. You can then monitor that position in the Open Positions menu, tracking its performance in real time. The reporting provides a detailed breakdown of your strategy's performance, showing key metrics such as the number of trades, win rate, and total profit and loss. This helps you evaluate how well the strategy is performing over time. You can also access daily profit and loss reports from the reports section under the daily profit and loss menu. This gives you a clear view of your strategy's consistency and helps you make informed adjustments if needed. So, we've covered how to automate trades using any indicator or strategy in TradingView in demo mode, allowing us to test everything with virtual money before risking real funds. Once we're confident in the strategy and its performance, we can connect the bot to our exchange and trade using real money. This can be done from the exchanges menu in CryptoTailor. To enable live trading, we simply connect our CryptoTailor account to our exchange using API keys. There's a step-by-step -step guide for each exchange to walk you through the process. Using API keys is a secure way to connect to Stack as it allows the bot to manage trades on your behalf without giving it withdrawal access. When creating API keys, we can set permissions to trade only, ensuring that the bot can execute buy and sell orders but cannot withdraw funds or perform any other unauthorized actions. After connecting the bot to your exchange, all that's left to do is switch it from demo mode to live mode with a simple click. Once activated, the bot will start executing real trades using your exchange account, following the same strategy you tested in demo mode. And that's it. 
Now you know how to automate trades using any TradingView indicator or strategy, test them in demo mode, and switch to live trading when you're ready. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need help, feel free to submit a support ticket or drop a comment below. We're happy to assist. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on more trading automation tips. See you in the next video.